There is so much more to the universe than we may ever know. When we stop and think of space or what lies beyond Earth, it is hard to envision just how vast it really is. What sits beyond our solar system, beyond our galaxy? Astronomical research helps to tell us a bit more about what exactly is out there. Whether that is finding what we do not yet understand, watching as celestial objects transform before our eyes, or rather before our telescope lenses, or unravelling some of our biggest questions one piece at a time. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three recent space-related discoveries that you may have missed. NASA's TESS exoplanet mission finds strange signals coming from dusty object. The transiting exoplanet survey satellite has been on the search for exoplanets, planets that exist outside of our solar system. The satellite aims to detect small fluctuations in the brightness of a star, caused by a planet passing in between the star and TESS itself. However, planets are not the only thing that can break this cycle, meaning that it is more than just exoplanets that TESS has data on. In 2019, researchers spotted TIC 4007992244, a celestial object that experienced drastic shifts in brightness. Over a matter of just hours, this object became 25% dimmer. TESS rotates position per month, though is not the only resource available to use for this research. Data from the All Sky Automated Survey for Supernovae and the Las Cumbres Observatory was also used. Between this mismatch of data, scientists were able to carefully piece this puzzle together. Astronomers believe that TIC 4007992244 is a binary star, being circled by two other stars, one of which is pulsing every 20 days or so. Now, scientists are left to wonder what causes the pulsing. The current suggestion is that it is caused by a big cloud of dust near the star, possibly caused by collisions with small planet-like objects. The scientists cannot be certain as to how the dust appeared. As answers are given to one question, more answers appear. Clock-like particles could help scientists understand the Big Bang. The Big Bang is just one theory on how our universe began, in the observable way that we know it to be today. Not everyone agrees with this theory. It is the leading precedent in scientific circles, though we still have plenty of questions about the theory itself. For example, if the Big Bang made the universe as it is today, was there anything at all before the Big Bang? The current theory is that shortly following the Bang, in the very early moments of the universe existing, the cosmos underwent inflation. This was a rapid expansion in which space grew faster than the speed of light. Cosmologists believe that the theory behind inflation makes a lot of sense and answers questions that would go unresolved without it. For example, it helps to explain why the universe is so even, why it mostly looks the same even in different directions. Some new research has come to light that has sparked conversations by critics. This data suggests that this theory needs initial conditions that are simply dubbed unlikely. Co-author of the study, Professor Avi Loeb, the Chair of Astronomy at Harvard University, explained that the most natural plausible models of inflation have been ruled out. She continues to explain that the theories that remain act as a catch-all and can fit any scenario. She describes them as flexible, not scientifically rigorous. In light of this, a new theory has been developed, addressing and amending the assumptions made by inflation. Inflation models only worked if the universe began as one point in matter and energy, a singularity. However, with the idea that there was nothing before the Big Bang, the idea of a singularity is not only improbable, but impossible. So, what new idea supposedly fixes these issues? Effectively a rebrand, the new suggestion is a big bounce, where the cosmos began from an earlier, already collapsed universe before our own began. 
Loeb says that this accounts for the structure and layout of the universe the same way inflation can, but does not have contradictions regarding a singularity. The next step is to test the different models and theories to try and draw a conclusion as to which seems to best fit. The research team seems to have narrowed this down to quite a specific hunt to confirm the idea of a universe before the one we are in now. The search is on for large particles, described to move in a regular pattern and rhythm. They have been likened to the pendulum on a grandfather clock. Ching'an Chen at Harvard University used a role of film analogy, explaining that these particles will tell us how these frames should be played. If an earlier universe has collapsed, it is believed that these clock particles would emerge once again and could be detected in our current universe. Another researcher said that finding these would falsify the entire inflationary theory. It is no secret that scientists tackle the big questions, but is there really anything bigger than finding out how our universe began? The black hole is forging a new type of star at the center of the Milky Way. Black holes are more than the frightening, life-threatening obstacles sci-fi television makes them out to be. These are celestial bodies that have experienced gravitational collapse. This means that nothing can escape them, including light itself, which is what makes a good basis for a movie plot. A black hole becomes supermassive once the mass exceeds 0.1 million m m being the millions to billions of times the mass of the Sun. Currently, the largest official category for a black hole is supermassive. As far as current observations show, most large galaxies have a supermassive black hole at its core, holding together its structure. Even our very own Milky Way galaxy has a supermassive black hole at its center. Our galaxy's black hole is found in the constellation Sagittarius, the ninth sign of the zodiac in astrology, falling in between the dates November 22nd and December 21st. No prizes for guessing why it was named this, but the Milky Way's black hole is called Sagittarius A star. This black hole is in a continuous metaphorically growing state, engulfing and drawing in stars, dust, and other matter. Scientists say this is forming a stellar megalopolis a billion times denser than the area of the galaxy within us in it. It has already been established that this constant feeding on stars leaves them having to get into a fight of sorts to keep their space place. Though a 2020 study has revealed that this battle can turn into more than just friendly competition. In this new study, published in the scientific journal Nature, the astronomers detailed six objects making their way around Sagittarius A star our very own black hole. The authors of the study gave us the description oblong blobs of gas, and note that they are significantly larger than Earth, in fact, several times the size. These so-called blobs have been named G1, G2, G3, and so on, until G6, respectively. Whilst their appearance is seemingly unfamiliar, the research team reports that they have noticed the behavior elsewhere. These anomalous space objects are said to be behaving in a manner similar to small stars, though they can inch their way relatively close to the edge of the black hole without being destroyed. So, the question at hand is what exactly are these objects? Are they odd bundles of gas or are they some form of star? The authors of the study seem to be walking a line between the two, proposing the idea of some sort of hybrid. The shapes of the gas, their orbital patterns, and the way that they interact with the bodies around them all point to the conclusion that each individual blob of gas is a secret duo, a pair of binary stars, these being two stars that circle one another, that were hit with such force in entering the black holes millions of years ago that they crashed together as a result of the gravitational pull. The huge impact made here then means that all this time later, bursts and clouds of gas and dust continue to come out of the clouds after the crash. Andrea Gez, a professor of astrophysics at the University of California, Los Angeles, said, It's possible that many of the stars we've been watching and not understanding may be the end product of these mergers. This study is not the first we are hearing of the mysterious G-objects. 
In 2005 and 2012, the first two of the groups were spied. Though, due to their orbit following Sagittarius A star, astronomers dismissed them as gas torn from a fading star. A much less intriguing puzzle. It was when G2 neared the edge of the black hole without any damage occurring that the astronomers began to ask more questions. The research team spent years looking at the core of the galaxy from the W.M. Keck Observatory in Hawaii, looking for the four other G objects. These mysterious objects seem to be regular dust clouds until they near the edge of the black hole, warping and stretching them. As the working theory is still the binary star's idea, there is not definitive proof. It is very plausible that these strange objects could be something else entirely. As research continues and more observations take place, we might unravel this mystery once and for all. But what do you make of these outer space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.